So uh, today, what we did, we made our like very basic blueprint type things, and then we also started to do our our graph thing. Um, so with these, we came up with a few designs. This was our first one, and uh, it looked a lot like the example cube. Then um, Dylan decided that like flipping the triangles on um, the different sides might be able to support more. So we decided to do that. Then um, I added these little support um, sticks on the side there. So um, we decided to go with this design, and Dylan started creating this lovely. <laughs> this lovely um, design here, um, the, the actual model, and then Heather's been working on research and she's been trying to figure out how much a popsicle can actually um, hold and support. So today is November 29th, and yeah. Okay, so today we just finished drawing the cube. So here is a diagram of our first cube. So basically, it's a modified version of Mr. Sheen's cube, and uh, what we have different is we have a support beam going right here, and two uh, uh, popsicle sticks <laughs> uh, on each side to support uh, this these two popsicle sticks uh, from snapping. All right, so today is December second. It's Friday. <laughs> And today, Dylan finished drawing our second design. This one's a little different than the first. The first one's on the back. Um, and these are just like we're supposed to draw them. They're very detailed. They have the uh, measurements and they have the shading to show, well, not shading, the dash lines to show depth. And then the, he also has the degrees. And we collected our popsicle sticks we were playing on building today. Um, we might be able to get a side or two done, but uh, Monday when it's uh, the long period, then we will definitely be building and hopefully we'll have enough time to build them both. So hopefully the glue will dry fast enough. Uh, I believe each cube is 28 popsicle sticks and uh, we're going to be using wood glue. So for the project today was December 5th and it was day 4, it was one of the long periods. Uh, we spent the whole class just working on our cube. And this is our first cube that we were working on. Dylan is, um, he was cutting all of the sticks. I'd measure them and mark off where four inches was on each um, individual popsicle stick. And then um, after we had them all cut out, we started to glue them together. We got a couple sides done and we're really happy with the progress that we've made so far. We think that this first cube that we designed is going to be better than the other cube. Um, but until we test it, we don't really know for sure. So today was December 8th, it is G-Day, and uh, we made a lot of progress. And uh, today is the day that we test our first cube. You, you can see it here, and uh, as I'm reading this, you can see the numbers of how much weight was put onto the uh, cube. So uh, we thought this first cube was gonna do really well, and it actually did. It maxed out the scale. We're really glad that we had the chance to test it. So we also, um, start to construct our second cube. We feel that, that it's a good design. We're not sure it will be as good as this one though. So after we're done testing our cube, uh, we just decided to stand on it because we didn't need to have it intact anymore. So Dylan stood on it and then Heather stood on it and then snap. Then after we were done smashing that cube, um, we decided to use the remaining sides that weren't destroyed and create this thing and test this uh, design that we called the cube angle not for a grade just to have some fun so uh that that was our day all right so today is it's friday each day it is a block day it's december 9th so we have an, uh, 90 minutes in this class and uh it's the last 90 minute period until next week on thursday the uh 15th so this is the really the large the last large block we have to work on the project. Um, so far, we've made all of our benchmarks, which we're we're really happy with. Um, right now, we are just we tested the um, other design today, so you'll see that later in the video. And then also we we built that design, and tested it today. It was a lot of work in one day, but we got it done. So uh, we'll have to see what Monday brings us. 
but the the cube that we tested today was our second design and it, it wasn't as good as the first one we didn't think it would be so uh, I'm glad that our findings kind of uh, give us the exact answer of which cube is stronger so we're definitely going to be going with the first one so um, we have a few more work days uh, we have Monday the 12th it's a uh, 50 minute period and then Wednesday the uh, 14th that's a K day and that's also a 50 minute period and then that Thursday is our last time to work on the project and it's a block day for 5 through 7 and uh, Friday it's when that's when the videos do so the whole project must be done on Friday and it in by uh, 225 I believe it's like you can only get a 55% if you don't hand it in so that's pretty low so today was Monday December 12th it was an I day one of the uh, 50 minute periods um, Friday we uh, did testing on our other design that we had we also um, decided to go with the first design that we made um, we felt that was a lot stronger and it would definitely be a better cube um, for the final product. We don't have class tomorrow. It's one of the um, one through four block days. But we'll be back on Wednesday. And um, we'll be ready to build the cube on Wednesday. Today we're preparing um, the popsicle sticks. We cut them and uh, we marked them off. And we got all of them ready for building on Wednesday. So we can just, once we walk into class, just start gluing and... Uh, overnight they can dry and then Thursday the block day uh, we're gonna be testing our final cube and then um, Friday's when the video and the whole project is due okay so today is December 14th it is Wednesday and it is one of the um, days that we have all of the classes so it was only 50 minute class today but uh, we made good use of our time right now I'm working on this video and Dylan and Heather are currently building our final model of the cube. Um, we decided to go with our first design of the cube because we believe that it held, it was a lot better. It definitely held a lot more. It maxed out the the force plate. And uh, comparing it to the other one, it, it it's just better all around. So they're currently building that. Uh, I believe when I walked in a few minutes ago, they had three sides done. We've been using for the whole time uh, wood glue to support like each of the sticks in the on each side and then we glued all the sides together with hot glue on the outside of the cube and on the inside and uh, we did make a slight modification to the original cube to this one so um, that's something to see is it gonna work out well or is it just gonna do nothing for us Today is December 15th. It is uh, a block day, so 5, 6, 7, it's L day. And this is the end of the project. It's been a really fun project. And uh, today was pretty much the day for everyone to get their work done, to get their last tests in. Um, today, we completed our cube. We made sure it was nice and stable. And then we went down to the Knowledge Commons to uh, put this, this table on top to try to meet our goal. And then uh, it was slightly unsuccessful because we accidentally hit the edge of the table against the cube so that was unfortunate but then after that we just put some more glue on and um, it really worked out nicely Dylan here is standing on it and then we even did more we did uh, four tests today uh, we did the table knowledge commons Dylan standing on it we also stacked a bunch of books on it as you see there and then of course we went through the ego smasher to have our ego smashed so this is the end of the project and it's time that we talk about the actual physics of the project uh, it seemed to have focused mainly on compression and tension so uh, compression is when um, forces are applied you could probably just say inward toward an object it causes a decrease in the length tension is the opposite um, the forces they they're described go of going outwards from the object they are actually causing the bonds within whatever object it is to stretch um, and increase and um, with the glue and all the sticks if there's too much compression on a single stick then it breaks it you can actually see it bend out before it snaps and then uh, after there's enough pressure and force it just snaps um, 
also with with tension you have all this the sticks combined with at these joints and they have a bunch of glue once um the sticks they're starting to peel off and the glue is separating so as uh there's more force applied that the bonds like i said between the object of the popsicle stick and the glue they're stretching and once they stretch enough it, they can't hold anymore so um it was a really interesting project <laughs> Thirty-two hundred.